Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to connect the 6290W keypad to a Vista alarm system. The 6290W is a great looking keypad, it's got a full color touchscreen, and it's going to be a great upgrade if you do decide to purchase it for your house. If you are replacing it with an existing keypad, or you are installing it as a brand new run to your system, you're going to connect it the same way. The way it connects to the system is with a four wire conductor. The four wires are likely going to be red, black, yellow, and green. The yellow wire could be white depending on what brand of wire you do purchase, so just keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Over here, well, there we have our 6290W keypad, and over here we have the Vista system that is connected to. Like other keypads, the 6290 connects to the ECP bus. This is this four terminal bracket right there. We have the red wire, we have the green wire, the red wire, the black wire rather, the green wire, and the yellow wire. The red is power plus, the black is power negative, the green is data in, the yellow is data out. This yellow wire could be white, depending on what kind of wire manufacturer you have, so just realize that. If this is replacing an existing keypad and you open up the panel and you do see some white wires there, they're for that terminal. If we go to our keypad now and we look at the connections on the back of it, I've already taken off its bit, uh, slightly off of its back plate, so there's nothing wrong with it, it's just hanging a little bit. I'm going to pull it out, turn it around. It's been designed nicely, so we have our four terminal connection right here, and right above it we have G, minus, plus, and Y. The G is for the green wire, the minus is for our negative power, the plus is for our positive power, Try to move this so you can see a little better. And the yellow is for the yellow or white wire. That's another one of the data connections. Again, this one could be white. When you connect this keypad, you're going to want to make sure that you get these wires in the right spot. And I say this because if you put the power, the DC plus power, in one of the other terminals, you could damage the keypad. So be sure that you're very careful when you do your installation and that you have your system 100% powered down. Just to go over that real quick, before you do install this keypad, on your alarm system, to power it down 100%, you're going to want to unplug its main power source, and you're going to want to undo its backup batteries. We have the 128 right here, so it's a little more robust than what you may have in your house, but it works the same way. There is a plug-in connector for this, a plug-in transformer, and then it has its backup batteries. So you want to unplug everything, unplug that transformer, and then you can work with the system safely without shorting any devices out or hurting yourself with a shock. But with all that said, the 6290 does have a relatively simple connection. If you do find that you have too many keypads or too much stuff on your ECB bus on the system and you need to uh, add more power, you can actually have an auxiliary power supply supply the power to the 6290 while the data connections have to go back to the panel. So there are ways to set this up. If you do have any questions though about programming, setting up, installing a 6290W, feel free to give us a call, 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.